Time for race 10 out of 12, and it's heat three for DD2 and DD2 Masters. Let's take you through the starting grid. So a complete grid has been assembled, and no one's going to have to start from the dummy grid this time, but it's Devin Sagardi and Frederick Zevis Christensen that will start on the front row. Nikita Genza and Jules Cousin will be on row two. Row three, it's the 414 of Noah Hip and the 491 of Nico Guillaume. But it's signed the 519 will start from DD2 Masters pole position from the inside of row four. He'll be joined by the 488 of Luca Neuenhausen. Paul Forquemin, twice a race winner. Can he do the clean sweep? He starts from the inside of row five and completing the top 10 alongside him. The 403 representing Germany, Dominic Heuters. Mats Johan Overhoff and Michael Becker round out row six with uh, Marek Mack and Louis Koch rounding out the top seven rows. Karl Klebor and Ka Christoph Capitain Row eight with Kirin Geha, Maximilian Adolf, and Sung Hung Moon rounding out the 19 strong. Everyone able to start their carts and get off of the dummy grid. We're going to very shortly go on to the formation lap. Once every one of the 19 drivers have got past the start finish line, the red lights will be ignited on the starting gantry ahead of 10 minutes plus one lap of racing. As the weather shifts again, the hail has returned and significantly the drivers are lined up. This is going to be one of the, this is going to be like skating on an ice rink. This is the ferocity that we saw during the lunch break of the hail. You can see it picture in picture. The deluge is significant, but the drivers are ready. They're primed to go racing. One more time here on Heat State for the kickoff. Into the tram lines. Revs rise, lights are on. Lights are out, we are underway. Who's gonna get to turn two first? Sagardi leads the field. Just behind him is Nikita Genzer in the 407. Sagardi loses out on the race lead. And there's a couple of carts just behind, one of which I noticed was a door motorsport cart. And also somebody else, possibly could have been Michael Becker. As the hail continues to fall, the drivers will be absolutely freezing, but the adrenaline going through their veins, coursing through their veins, will keep them very much alert all the way through. But then you've got to factor in the fact that uh, clothing will be saturated. We'll need a deep clean and a good dry out after this. And then also the chassis will definitely need to be cleaned after this one. It's Noah Hip that leads the way. Jules Cousin in second. Third, Paul for Quemin. I did say, will he possibly do the, the clean sweep of three race wins from three heats, which would put him on pole for the super, the super heat tomorrow? Well, he's pretty much at this moment, if even if he finishes third, he has got himself assured to be on that pole position spot, and by golly, has he earned it. Kylian Geha has jumped up the order from 17th, and is now fifth. Nicolas Guillaume is the sole driver that's stopping the French from getting another top four result, like we saw in heat one earlier on today. Frederick Sevis Christensen, however, has tumbled down the order. Oh, now who was that? I've just seen someone go straight on at turn two and has just pulled off and let everyone else pass. 
I've got a feeling, I'm wondering who that was. I'll wait until the timing uh, comes through or I notice the number on the chassis coming out of turn number 11. So Noah Hip leads from Jules Cousin. Paul Fourquemin rounds out the top three. Guillaume, Gerard, Pritzai leading Masters. And then it's the 403 of Heuters. Michael Becker didn't actually have a drama earlier on. But I'm going to wait to see who the last cart is coming through. It might be a little bit further back. It is Frederick Zebis Christensen. That cart was filthy. Absolutely filthy. Very much like Boaz Maximov's cart in the last heat for juniors. Well, the hail has subsided and it's now shifted back into rain once again. But the rain is not significant. Look, Neuhausen trying to get through out of turn number six having to correct using steering and throttle manipulation inputs. And he's closely followed by the 504 of Michael Becker. Pritzai looking to stop Christoph Capitan's run of form when it comes to DD2 Masters victories so far today. And Capitan at the moment has two. So whichever way you put it, the way things are standing is the Capitan is on course. If he stays in the top two, you can bet your bottom dollar he's pretty much assured of being on pole position and being the leader of the, after the ranking of the heats once everything's been confirmed and ratified. Christoph Capitan at the moment is P4. There is uh, Plitzai, still ahead of Dominic Reuters. In the 403 from Don Modersport. But Noah Hip has a lead of just over one second ahead of Jules Cousin. Paul Fourquem in a further second adrift in P3. Nicolas Guillaume is in fourth place. Devin Sagardi has managed to recover up to 10th as things stand. Not been an easy one for the Estonian. A retirement after contact between himself and it looked like it was Frederick Zevis Christensen in the opening heat. Uh, then both him and Pritzai didn't, well, uh, were late for the uh, entrance to the dummy grid and then had to start from the pit lane. So for AGS Racing, it's been a difficult one so far. But of course, as I said, tomorrow it is a winner take all situation. So whoever wins the final, is the winner of the BNL Karting Series kickoff. Just in the same vein as we've had in previous years, like, say, the Golden Trophy and the Grand Festival, which we hosted last year here at Karting Genk. So two nice little battles here. Pritzai versus uh, Dominic Heuters. Look at Neuenhausen versus Michael Becker. Neuenhausen is now dropping the 504. And it's closing in on Heuters, who might have an opportunity of slipstream down the Yerapalan. Thought he might have had a, a possible go at it there, but decided better of it. So now it's a case of how much of a lead can Pritzai get over Michael Becker. So Becker yet to win a race today. Pritzai yet to win a race today. Christoph Capitan has already got two in the pocket. Well, it's not going to be three from three for Paul Fogwemen. He's 3.2 seconds behind the race leader of Noah Hip. But with that kind of performance that Paul Fourquemin has had all weekend long that just goes to show that if you get two wins like we've just seen with Victor Reitz we've got the seniors coming up next and there's two different winners from two different races so far so race three I'm going to be interested to see how that plays out and then of course we've got juniors being the uh, final Races out on track before we call time on today. 
And for those wondering, when will uh, things start tomorrow? Well, the live stream will start at 10.20 uh, tomorrow morning on the live stream. And the racing action will get underway with the first superheat at 10.30. Pritzai still keeping Dominic Reuters at bay, but Reuters was trying to sweep to the outside, possibly at turn 11. Nearly open the doors there for Luca Neuenhausen. And Michael Becker makes it four in this train. So this is a very, very nice little battle that we're seeing. Uh, Louis Koch has now decided to call time on this race. And that's probably pretty much going to put him on the back foot for the Super Heat tomorrow. Noah Hip in the meantime. There's the move from Dominic Reuters on Pritz Sai. Michael Becker nearly got through on Luca Neuenhausen. for uh, effectively that place, <laughs> which would have been eighth. But then he would have been very close to the back bumper of Pritz Sai. So the race lead and what could possibly more than likely be the win, Luca Neuenhausen now up the inside of Pritz Sai through turn seven, which means Sai is now in the firing line of Michael Becker on the comp cart chassis who looks to the inside at turn number eight. And the 504 from Hagen in Germany, unable to get through. But there is still time. There's a minute and 35 seconds, Beck, plus an additional lap. Becker looks to the outside through into turn 10 to try and get the crisscross. They are wheel to wheel through into 11. And Becker's gone there. Has Becker got it round the outside? He did. He got it. He got the job done, did Michael Becker. Pritzai, I, didn't, I think, didn't get the traction out of turn 11. And Michael Becker went right well he came out of turn 10 becker went right i'll fire it around the outside and see what happens and he got the job done that's that's great to see michael becker uh put off a move like that around the outside at turn 11 in these weather conditions so noah hip still leading the way by 1.4 seconds out of jules cousin paul forquemin in third nico guillaume and kilian guerra uh, looks like nikita genza is out of the race as well. It looks like he's part of the 407, the Cart Republic entry from Dom Motorsport, and that is a real shame. Brings us down to 17 drivers, rounded out by Maximilian Adolf in the 424. So with 25 seconds left to go, there's, oh, now that's a bit, uh, that's a bit of an opportunistic move there to try and get through on the inside of turn nine by Luca Neuenhausen on the number 403 of Dominic Reuters. And Reuters still holding on. Two laps to go, including this one. And Jules Cousin, new per fastest lap of anybody. He's just gone purple. All the, well, went purple. Is, well, he's the fastest driver in sectors two and three. Noah Hip is the fastest in sector one. Maximilian Adolf has just pulled in and has just decided, well, after six laps, I've had enough. I want to get warm again. So Cousin, 1.2 seconds behind the race leader. And Frederick Sebis Christensen has got past uh, Manik Mack. Very, very different story to what I remember seeing with Frederick uh, back in senior road tax over the past couple of seasons. It's been a difficult transition. Some drivers will get into DD2 and they will instantly acclimatize to it. There'll be others that might have a little bit of a struggle over those first couple of tries. Paul Forquemin was a little bit of an exception, an exempt, exception to the rule, but the final lap is underway. Noah Hip now making his way through into turns one and two. There's Max Johan Overhoff uh, coming through out of turn number eight. And he's just ahead of... Uh, Man, they call Debacher the uh, the fastest ba the fastest baker I know. Carl Clebault runs multiple business well, ro ro well runs multiple bakeries, and uh, I think I might need to procure some before I go home uh, after the first round of the BNL Karting Series in uh, a couple of weeks' time. But the final lap very much underway. Race leaders. I'm now trying to pick them out at the moment. So it will be the case that very shortly we will see the number 414 of Noah Hip. Uh, Zevis Christensen comes out of turn 11, as does Marek Mack, and so does Sung Hung Moon. And Noah Hip is now making his way out of turn 11. 
And the Frenchman keeps it a clean sweep for the French. It's not going to be the one that Paul Fourquemin wanted. But you know what? He's going to take P3. Jules Cousin takes second. But it's Noah Hep that wins the final heat for DD2 and DD2 Masters here at Gank. And wins it by one and three quarter seconds. Jules Cousin takes second. Paul Fourquemin pretty much has assured himself to be on pole position for the Super Heat tomorrow. He rounds out the top three. Nicolas Guillaume in fourth. Kylian Geha in fifth. And Geha, the biggest mover up the order. 12 places from 17th to round out the top five. Dominic Heuters in sixth. Fends off Luca Neuenhausen for, seventh, uh, for sixth place. Michael Becker picks up the win in DD2 Masters ahead of Pritzai with Devin Sigardi now coming across the line to finish in 10th. Next up, it will be the number 401 of Mats Johan Overhoff that will cross the line 11th. Karl Klebor 12th and 3rd in Masters. Just waiting for a few more other drivers uh, to cross the stripe, which will include the likes of Christophe Capita, 13th and 4th in Masters. And it'll be Frederick Service Christensen, Manik Mack and Sung Hung Moon that will complete the finishing order. Well, looks like Service Christensen decided to pull in early and felt it was not, there was no point coming across the line. So he will finish 16th with Maximilian Adolf out on lap six, Nikita Genza lap five, and Louis Koch out on lap four. But Hip and Becker, winners in DD2, and DD2 Masters here in the final heat of the BNL Karting Series kickoff for 2024.